This is our first. We did this. We flew this for the first time last summer. It's uh, as you as you kind of get a sense. It's a bit of an ordeal trying to trying to get this thing flowing. I was hoping we'd get uh, spring, summer, and fall photos, but that might have to wait until next year. This is an old agricultural field, and the the wetlands in Ohio, in this part of Ohio. There used to be around 90% more than there are now. The wind almost looks like it's coming from the south now. There's real interest in trying to restore wetlands in this ecosystem. That is, take land that was once wetland, became farmland, and turn it back into wetland ecosystem. Hi, my name's John Peterson. Um, I'm an associate professor of biology and environmental studies at Oberlin, and I'm chair of the environmental studies program as well. I'm George Allen. I am a second, well, I will be a third year student in the fall, and um, I'm a biology major. When the European settlers first showed up in this region, it was essentially a forested wetland region. And uh, initially, society really looked on wetlands as kind of, you know, derelict land that wasn't wasn't good for much. The people who did the initial surveys here, you know, sort of cursed the wetlands, full of mosquitoes, that sort of stuff. But over the last 20 or 30 years, we've really begun to understand that wetlands provide critical ecosystem services for human beings. One of the potential functions of wetlands in these areas is to treat agricultural runoff wetlands have a unique ability to kind of act as the kidneys of a, of a watershed. And so when you have a really agricultural landscape, one of your big problems is you've got nutrients, pesticides, uh, other things that get added, sediments that get, uh, that, that run off agricultural fields. And uh, wetlands provide this wonderful buffer that can absorb nutrients, uh, stop sediment movement, uh, detoxify um, uh, chemicals from agricultural fields. My freshman year, I took um, introduction to environmental studies class, is environment and society. But eventually, I got interested in um, this idea of using ecological design in order to treat waste and the processes that go on naturally in um, in soils and in, in water columns that basically kind of take care of the waste that humans create. It used to be that Lake Erie was polluted because of all the, um, because of all the factories and, and, and lack of wastewater treatment plants and that those were the major source of uh, pollution to Lake Erie. Now, uh, you know, in large part because we've done a pretty good job of cleaning up a lot of those, um, those point sources um, through regulation, Clean Water Act, now the big problem is so-called non-point source pollution. It's the runoff from agricultural fields. That's the big problem in our uh, in our local um, local aquatic ecosystems here. As I say, we've lost much of our native wetlands, and so um, there's real interest in trying to restore wetlands in this ecosystem. So that is, take land that was once wetland, became farmland, and turn it back into wetland ecosystems so we can begin to begin to bring back some of that um, some of that ecological function. One of the things ecologists have really begun to focus on is spatial patterning of vegetation. So what's important is not just how much of a particular species is in a wetland, but how it's physically organized in space. And so by flying this blimp over the wetland systems uh, and, and photographing it you know, each year, uh, we, can be, we, can, we can get that information into a technology called geographic information systems, which allows you to analyze changes in the spatial arrangement of things over time. So all of this information actually is um, really critical to helping people who are in the business of restoring wetlands to do a better job. We still really don't have the fundamental knowledge about how to most effectively build wetlands, how to achieve species diversity, what's the effect of species diversity on ecological function. So those are all the kinds of questions we're trying to get at with this research. 
one of the great things about doing a project like this uh, with, um, you know, at a small liberal arts college like Oberlin with, with undergrads is you can take the time to do a really long-term study. Uh, we built these wetlands in 2003. Uh, I've had a, a series of really fantastic um, uh, Oberlin students working with me on these. Uh, George is, is the latest. Each one of them brings their own sets of skills and knowledge. We're hoping that uh, George is going to continue to do some of the research he's starting.